music reviews, life views, and much more. You're tuned in to the Marvin Smith Show, where the man Smitty Cow watches your little flicks, and he gives his opinions, and he picks his picks off of the culture, no culture. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. <laughs> Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. Now, on this video, we're going to be checking out some more music from Love Bites. Uh, but before I get into all that, uh, let me let me kind of catch you guys up with uh, what I've been up to in the last couple of weeks or so. Um, for some of you that have been paying attention, I haven't uploaded anything in the last few weeks. And it's for good reason. Um, one, as in honestly just needed a little mental health uh, break. Um, work was kind of going on. We had big product launches and stuff coming up. It's kind of the beginning of the holiday season for me. Um, not only that, but, you know, just kind of dealing with some internal, personal, you know, sad, whatever, <laughs> you know, not to get super sappy or personal about it, but, you know, just dealing with some, some things. And, um, you know, it's kind of had to take a break from everything. Like really just going to put life on hold, except for the essentials, like work, food, sleep. That was it. So I'm kind of getting out of that funk and trying to get back into uh, reacting and getting some more stuff up here on the channel. Um, but that being said, I just want to kind of let you guys know, um, I did kind of go out and also uh, I did go to a couple of shows in between. Um, last night, I uploaded a couple of videos um, from the Goose show that I went to. So shout out to Goose for putting on a fantastic show. The show was amazing. Um, had a great time. And, um, you know, I didn't get the chance to, to really vlog like i wanted to but at least i just kind of put up some shorts so if you guys see it cool if you didn't there they go <laughs> all right now that that's out of the way let's check out some love bites now with these ladies right here i'm looking at the thumbnail of this video and i already see marty friedman and i'm just imagining this thing right here is going to be crazy now for those that don't know marty friedman is the um one of the og guitars from megadeth um back in the day you know what i'm saying hey and uh uh what was the lead guitarist from, from Megadeth? Uh, Dave Mustaine, thank you. Um, really ran on a tear, you know, with the, their first couple of albums after they, well, after Dave broke off from Metallica or Metallica broke off from him, all that good stuff. Y'all know the lore. <laughs> but, you know, I'm definitely kind of seeing what what uh, Marty Freeman has to do with Love Bites. Like, I obviously know he's probably a big inspiration for them, but I'm definitely wanting to check this video out. So before I hit that, um, of course, please, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps my little channel grow over here. We're on our way to 11,000 subscribers. I think we're about 30 or 40 short of that. So, you know, I'm going to go on a little uh, uploading spree here, kind of catch up on some backlog stuff, and, of course, keep going forward and di deep diving a little bit further into Love Bites. You know, definitely love Bitten over here, so, you know, definitely love those. Oh, oh also, shout out my, my Wolfpack people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who you are. So let's go ahead and check it out. Some Love Bites. ラブバイツが来たゴリンのギターヒロたちオッケーヘルイエーマメセヘルイエーオールライトプリーズウェルカムラブバイツのチンギターミドリーエンミヤコミドリー Ah, Miyako, hell yeah. Original no holy water, the question. Swing it, I jan. Manakana, like a pitari. Who's this guy? Love bites, he sent June, Nana, and he major debut. Hatashi was guy, it's a Amari, the Kaiga, and he was in she, worldwide, and a castle, ten guys are teamers. Okay. Uh oh, talk about the lore. で、緑と宮古の強力なツインギターを擁するメタルバンドの日本代表です。うん。さあ、今回はえ、お二人が愛したギターヒーロー達と題してさあではまずミドリさんが影響を受けたギタリストベスト
Here we go. Oh, they ain't playing no game. さて、はい、このアレキシライホですけどもね、彼の魅力は何ですか？そうですね。まずはやっぱりあの攻めのスタイルですね。アグレッシブでしたもんね。そうですね。あの、うん、本当にリフのキレもすごいです。うん、もうスパーって切れちゃうようなくらいのキレですし。バ<笑>ーズ、うん、right here for a second. So okay, so I kind of see the format of the show. Like、um, you got Marty here, you got the host here.、Um, looks like they're just gonna kind of go in and like show them different artists、uh, that maybe inspired them and maybe talk about how they inspired them. And then、um, they're gonna play some riffs from、uh, some of their most popular songs. <laughs> I'm glad I could pick that up pretty quick. Hopefully that's、uh, what's going on here. And、um, I'm also really impressed with Marty Freeman's Japanese. Like, I know he moved to Japan like years ago. I'm pretty sure he's still moving. He's still living over there.、Um, but and I remember him talking about his love of J rock and and J music, you know,、um, for for many years, like different interviews and stuff like that. And、um, I can definitely see where his influence has led to. You got people like Bandmate. I'm sure he's talked to you know Darren Gray and some of these other rock bands and stuff over the years. It's really cool to see Marty over here really doing his thing. So let me go ahead and unpause and、um, we'll get back into this one. Let's go. Like solo, to come, it's a good, like a sweep to you, a classical and a phrase to come. He said, in this case, Corez of Metal, that I, of course, it's metal. Oh, can't you do this? Yeah, well, no, Karen, you can't do this. Get up on guitar hero, the more guitar hero. ギターを見ただけで、あ、歴史のギターだってわかるのがもう羨ましいんですよ。うん、もうギターがもう体の一部というかね。はい。あのアレキシさんは僕のインフェルノアルバムに参加してくれたんですよ。うんうんはいうんうん、で一緒に曲作ったんですけど、本当に自分なりのスタイルがあって、なんかあのメタルのもう現代的なメタルのあるなんですけど、そのなんかクラシックメタルと現代のメタルの美味しい融合をしてる人と思ったので、売れが素晴らしかったんですし、なんかあの音楽に対しての愛がもう深いので、大好きな人です。話を聞いてるとやっぱお人柄も良かったんですよね。そうですよ。さあ、ロイは。I have an idea。メタルの真髄を聞いたっていう感じ。So it looks like the idea, of course, he's talking about maybe like a blending of old metal and new metal and how it kind of like combines together. You know what I'm saying? Kind of stuff I was talking about too, like the, the bridging of generations, as it were. And、um, y'all have to let me know below、uh, who this gentleman is for my Japanese speaking folks out there. Who is this man's right here? Ujiyama, Rocco. Let's go. さあ、えー、ところで海外ツアーも、えー、ね皆さんなさってますけれどもご苦労も多かったというふうに伺ってますが大変やったね大変やね男と違うチャレンジありますかやっぱあの私たちみんな髪の毛長くて結構セットしてたりとかなのでで、いつもあの緑とうちが同じ部屋でだいたい部屋一緒にいることが多かったんですけど、うん、あのお風呂どっちが入る戦争みたいな<笑><笑><笑>なかなか面倒いんだよねそうですね結構大変ですね<笑>お風呂に関しては一緒に入ったりしないですか一緒に入らないですね<笑>あれ<笑>、うん、<笑><笑><笑>では続いてはみどりさんの第4位はこちらはいアベンジドセブンフォールドのシニスターゲイツですシニスターかっこいいですねかっこいい,こい,いです色気がありますよねマーティーさんあのナイトメアっていう曲を一緒にやりたいんですけど。あやりましょう。はい。あでもマーティーで join in。Here we go。Nightmare。Pause <笑>。Fun fact about this song Nightmare、uh,。Many years ago, many years ago, my my friend,、uh, my brother, as it were,、uh, my boy Nate asked me to DJ his wedding. And I did. <laughs> But he asked me, him and his, his, his wife at the time asked me to play this song as their, or as their processional song on the way to walk up to the, alter, up to the altar. And I, I will never forget that day because I had my Bluetooth speaker <laughs> set up and my phone set up. I had like old Blackberry at the time, Bluetooth to that little speaker. And I hit the song and it was literally Nightmare. I had no clue what it was, I didn't know why they wanted to hear it. And it's only the first couple of seconds of the song, too. Like, I, I guess there's like an orchestral type of、um, intro to it or whatever, real goth ish, which my man is definitely on that level. But、uh, I'll never forget it. Anyway, <laughs> let me rewind, man. Let's hear some、uh, Avenged Sevenfold and some Nightmare 
covered by some guitar gods right here. Let's go. Yeah, I remember this part. Nightmare! The dude come in, screaming. Yeah. <laughs> いや、でも、あれだとこのシニスターの方、魅力って何ですかね。引き姿もかっこいいですし、やっぱなんかすごいテクニカルなこととかもやってるんですけど、なんかテクニカルに感じさせないっていうか、すごくメロディアスで、な
さあ、えー、では続いて、はい、の第二位はこちら。お。独権のジョージリンチです。独権。来ましたね。あ、right.。パーズ、ライクウェイ。独権、独権。now I know 独権 is an eighties band。I wasn't really up on 独権 like that、uh,。growing up。my friends were。I heard about them。but I was a little too young for 独権 at the time。but my, my 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 friend I used to play card games with was a big 独権 fan。so he tried to put me on。I wasn't really on it like that。anyway let's go。さあじゃあみどりさん改めて。こちらジョージリンチの魅力は、まあ、特にアドリブ弾いてる時のそのなんていうんですか、うん、爆発力といいますかんなんか音の選び方もうトリッキーというか音階的な音の選び方そう音階もですしなんかこう外しというかうち,ょちょっと合間隙間隙間の音を使ってる感じとか、はいはいはい、あのピッキングハーモニクスだったりとか、うん、アーミングだったりとか、okay. 何をやってもすごいスリリングに聞かせてくるその感じがすごくメタルだなと思ってかっこいい。いやあのおっしゃる通りに彼が弾いてる時に何か思わない場所行っちゃうんですよね、うん、この人のこうセンスが抜群と思いましたね、うん、トリッキーで何かあの珍しいちょっと頭おかしいなようなあの<笑>ひねってるフレーズがあからすごい好きになりましたちょっとぶっ飛んでますよね、うん、この人はあのウォーレン・ディマルティーニの先生なんでしょあなんか兄貴分だから、うん、あそうなんだあんまりギターの抱え方のあの高さとこのあのこの感じが似てるね、やっぱり。あのこう指を広げて弾きますスタイルは、ね。こういう状況っていうとね。はいはいはい、昔ハードンエイドっていうのは、メタル系のギタリストが次々とギターソロをやる。あれでもね、ススススえー、すごくこうジョージリンチのプレイは分かった。液体みたいなギタープレイだった。液体みたいな。<笑><笑>今日ローリーさん何かなんか飲んでるんですかね。<笑>説明がすごい美味しい。はい、here we go。さあ、それではいよいよ。みどりさんが影響を受けたギタリスト第一位の発表です。第一位はこちら。おお。アングラのキコルーレイロです。Oh. マーティさん、ノバエラを一緒に。Pause. No clue. I don't know who that is. <笑>やりたいんですけれども。やりましょう。お願いしますよしじゃあうちハモるわおっじゃあやろうやったーできたやろうよし<笑>ああオーケーああ、you can tell where they get their influences from さあでは改めてこのキコのですね魅力まず出音の説得力が半端ないんですよ<笑>なんかすごくクリアですし、うんうん、なんかチョーキング一音とか本当にどんな音を弾いてもちょっとグッときちゃうようなすごい説得力がありますね、うんうん、まあブラジリアンじゃないですか、うんうん、そのエッセンスがあるようなプレーとかもうまくメタルに織り込んできてて、うんうん、その個性的で、うん、もう聞いたらあ、キコのギターだなっていうのはわかるのがすごいかっこいいなと思ってますね。マーティは、そうですね。超納得します。実はこのリストみんなすごくいい人ばかりですから安心しました。<笑>あの結構アングラの曲。でまあ、結構ラブバイトに通ずるものが、うんねまあ、逆にうちらが通じてるのかあれ分からんけど<笑><笑>あのなんでこうそのツインギターとかのこう彼ら2人のちょっとチューニングが合ってるっていうか、うん、ねなんか、うん、そういうカップになれたらいいなってうちは思ってるんだけど。<笑><笑><笑>あんまりこのあの自分たちのことをカップルだっていう方は珍しいよね。確かにね。うん、よく言うんですかその表現カップル。あいやうん最近うんでもなんか相方とか相方相方カップル。ああなるほど、ね。<笑><笑><笑>はい、えー、以上みどりさんが愛した五人のギターヒーローでした。さあ次回は宮子さんのギターヒーローを深掘りしていきます。よろしくお願いします。お願いします。
さあそしてチャンネル登録もお願いいたします、えー、さらにツイッターではロック藤山の裏側も覗けますのでぜひフォローしてください So please follow us on Twitter Subscribe Smash that like button and share the video Hell yeah <laughs> Very cool Very cool man All right, man. That was Rock Fujiyama. Like, I just saw Love Bites in the thumbnail. I was like, I gotta check it out. Then I saw Marty Freeman in the thumbnail. I was like, I definitely have to check this out. So I'm definitely kind of curious to see. Uh, looking at the. I can't read the thumbnails. Why am, I looking at, why am I looking at this Japanese? I can't read Japanese like that. I'm just kind of curious to see, like, um, what else they got going on on this channel, man. I, I really am. Now, I might have to get some translators. I might need somebody, some of y'all to like hook your boy up, but maybe they got some translated VODs of this somewhere or VODs of this. I, I'm just kind of curious, but at any rate, I just wanted to catch up with um, Love Bites, kind of see what's going on. Um, the, obviously, it was the two girls here, but I, I don't know. Um, have they finished their hunt for their new bass player or have they announced that yet? Like, I'm, I'm still kind of curious. Um, I remember going on like a, a little YouTube hunt not too long ago and I was looking for videos showing the... Um, the audition process. I never really did see that. I never really saw like what the end result was of that. So hopefully either a, they've chosen somebody um, or B maybe they already have, and they're starting to record some stuff or, or, or maybe there's an update saying, Hey, we're almost done looking for the member. They've already got them. Like, let me know if, if that's already been resolved or not. I'm, I'm definitely curious. So at any rate, Hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts, and um, I'm going to get out of this video, man. This is a fun one. Just a little a little something different to react to. You know, just I've never really sat down to listen to, like, a, a talk show or something like this or, or a presentation of this sort. Uh, but it was, it was really fun just kind of seeing who all was involved with it. So I'm definitely uh, kind of curious to that. But you know what? What I might start doing for real is finding more shows like this, um, kind of behind the scenes with the artists or more casual stuff, not necessarily, like, music videos or things like that, but just more music-related things like, um, I was talking to Sir Austin, as a matter of fact, and um, we're talking about uh, Mama Moo and uh, some of the other uh, K-pop um, artists out there. And um, I might start digging into, the, into some of their stuff, like seeing some behind the scenes things or interviews or, or things like that. So those really cool, like documentary type shows and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that how that folds out here in the next uh next few videos <laughs> so all right y'all hey my name is marvin smitty reacts i'm up out of here man so please until the next one take care of yourself be kind to one another and of course if you guys can do all that i'll catch you in the next video all right all right peace music reviews life views and much more you're tuned in to the marvin smith show where the man smitty cow watches your little flick